Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to another video. I'm in my kitchen y'all, let's hang out. Alrighty you guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is grocery store day. You already know it's Thursday and we do grocery hauls. But this week you guys, I'm doing a very special collaboration. I'm collabing with Samantha over at Small Family Small Budget. She's like one of my friends on YouTube, you guys, and uh, her channel is really great. Go over, check it out. It's going to be down in the description box below. We'd love, love, love for you to check her out. Tell Shakina sent you guys. So here's how this collab is going to work. We're going to look in our freezers, our fridges, our pantries to see what our proteins are. You already know how I shop. I shop based on whatever I can find on sale with a coupon um, markdown sales, and then I plan around whatever I found at the grocery store. This time we're doing a little different. It's whatever I have in my freezer, because remember I did the huge stock, stock up haul on meat. Now I'll put that up somewhere up here in the, uh, in the eye in the sky. And uh, so I didn't have to buy a lot of protein. I didn't have to buy, buy a lot of meat and protein doesn't only mean meat. You can get your protein from beans or legumes, of course, Whole30, we don't eat beans and we don't eat legumes, but Jackson is vegetarian. I'm not sure what he's eating right now. Um, tuna, any of those types of things that we already have in the pantry, we can use for a me uh, meals or um, you know any type of our meals. So I'm home for the summer. And that simply means that we're doing a lot more. I'm participating in a lot more meals uh, now that I'm home. Usually it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, just dependent. We do try to um, cook enough so that we have lunches left over from dinner the night before. My kids don't mind leftovers for lunch. They, Alana likes leftovers for breakfast. Um, she, that's how she rolls. But um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, meal prepping has been a challenge for me since I've been home for the summer. It's got a lot of stuff going on. I'm trying to get my life together. The kids are doing Taekwondo. Jackson's in camp this week. We've got dance. They're both taking dance. Um, you think I was taking dance as much driving as I'm doing. I wish I could lose weight by driving because I would be pencil thin. That's all I'm saying. So let's look in our freezer and see what we got as far as proteins. And then I will show you my grocery haul because I did shop. And then I will sit down with you and come up with a meal. All right, chest freezer, of course, right? Carb Smart. Who bought that? Don't ask any questions. We won't tell you any lies. All right, so I have chicken th uh, drums. Both of those are chicken drumsticks. Yeah, chicken drumsticks. I think there's another pack of drumsticks. Oh, I see some. Look down here. Can you see that? That's um, beef. This is also chicken. That's leg quarters, I believe. Veggies here. These are thighs. More thighs. I know there are at least two whole chickens, two whole chickens in the bottom of here. Uh, let's see if I can move some of these over a little bit. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Okay, yeah. That's a turkey. There's a turkey down there, and there's two whole chickens, at least two, maybe three. So I have five chickens. Uh, like I said, ground beef. Let me take this out. Hold on, y'all. I want to show you for real. Okay. Nope, there's two, three, oh, three, four, five. There's six ground beef. All of this here is chicken thighs, uh, ch leg quarters. So all leg quarters. This is about six more ground beefs down there, which I wouldn't have known if I hadn't have come and looked because Alana said we didn't have any more. Okay, so let me go to the kitchen freezer, fridge freezer, and see what we have in there. All righty, we got gizzards here. That's pork. We've got two ground porks here. Oh, well, looky, looky here. Goodness. Um, I've got ground pork. Oh, butterfly pork chops. Oh, I think those are ribs down here like beef ribs down here, ground pork, butterfly pork chops. I think there's two of those. Oh my, okay, and I didn't think I had any pork chops. So look at the Lord. Steak, 
That is, um, there is a, that's chuck steak. Okay. All right. All right, I'm gonna show you the grocery haul. I shopped one store today. I shopped at Walmart uh, because I was just, sometimes I'm finding now that Aldi's produce doesn't last as long and I hate it because I can always get cheaper prices at Aldi, but I'd rather it last longer. So I've been shopping at Walmart these last couple weeks. I did check Harris Teeter. They didn't have anything that, you know, made me wanna run over there this week to pick up anything. Um, Tiffany did tell me she sent coupons, so I'm waiting to see if any good coupons come in there um, to still continue the coupon journey. So I will show you the grocery haul and then I will sit down and do a meal plan with you guys. Okay, you guys, so here's our haul. Remember we talked about groceries just being a little bit more expensive than what we had planned for. And of course my budget is $50 uh, for this week, but I gave my grocery budget away. So I did get child support today and I ended up spending 84.84 on what you see right here, 84.84. So I picked up a watermelon for 3.28. The pineapples this week were a dollar. So I picked up two of those. I'm just gonna cut one now and then I'll save one for a couple days from now. My kids love pineapple and they love watermelon. Um, I picked up a bag of gala apples. These were like 3.47. Uh, cherries, I think we're still 2.99 a pound. Uh, Jackson loves these red grapes at $1.72 a pound. These twisted uh, pretzel sticks for Jackson and the jalapeno ranch were $2.98. Picked up two seasoned collard greens because we've eaten collard greens in the last couple of days. And I want to make sure that we have that in the um, outside pantry. Bananas were $0.59 cents a pound. Way more expensive than I've seen them, but I was already at Walmart. Live your best life. Chicken jalapeno sausage. I picked this up. I did make sure to look at the ingredients this time. Uh, these were three eighteen, and then they had these uh, al fresco roasted garlic chicken sausage. These were four oh eight. The only reason I didn't get two of these is because we don't always love it hot. Um, sometimes my kids will do hot, and sometimes they don't prefer it that way. So I picked up those two things. Baby spinach was a dollar seventy eight. Mushrooms I can't remember. I didn't see a price for mushrooms. Tilapia was just a little under five dollars, and these. Uh, raw shrimp were a little over five dollars. I think five eighty-two. The kids asked for fruit cups, a dollar seventy-eight for the Walmart brand and two eighteen for the Dol uh, Dol uh, Del Monte. And then the Mott's applesauce, we got a regular and a blueberry. They were a dollar ninety-eight each. Um, we got two things of one hundred percent apple juice at ninety-eight cents. The big ones I normally get, they didn't have almond milk, unsweetened, regular. My kids don't like vanilla. Was one eighty-two. I picked up some minced garlic because we're almost out. This was $2 and some change or $3, I can't remember. We're totally out of uh, chili powder, 98 cents. This ghee was $6 and some change. I'm gonna have to learn how to do this because it does get a little expensive. Um, potatoes were $4.24 and then sweet potatoes were $2.44. So all in total over at Walmart, I spent $84.84 and I still feel like I need to spend another $84 to get more the green things, uh, more fruit. We didn't get spaghetti squash. We didn't get zucchini. Those are all the things that we normally would cook with during the week, but we did get some garden bounty. So I was excited about the garden, right? We pull out some bell peppers, some yellow, uh, some purple ones and green ones. We have some beans and then uh, a good amount of tomatoes in there. It's been raining, 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 so I'm hopeful that um, the garden will still keep producing for us. Uh, we do need to go out and water today. Uh, this one is nice and ready for slicing. These as well, yep, these are all pretty good. And then we got beans. Um, I think we still need to go out and pick more beans. So we will look for, look at that, uh, doing that within the next you know little bit. We'll go out and do that. I'm gonna roast tomatoes today. So let me take you guys over to a uh, view of my um, planner and let's figure out some meat. You guys, so I had to change uh, positions because Alana is doing summer school and uh, her teacher is talking. So I came out of the kitchen and just into the living room to talk a little bit about um, meals. So I showed you guys, and I'm looking down at my planner. I showed you guys that I had chicken, pork, uh, ground pork, pork chops, beef ribs, ground beef, whole chickens. 
In the pantry, we have tuna, we have chicken breast. Oh, we have chicken breast. Let me think. Let me get my think on. Okay, okay. All right, so. Hmm. I'm gonna make myself some notes on the back of my notes page because I do have a notes page here. And then I'll write it in my planner after I'm 100% I'm sure. So what I'm thinking is we can do chicken salad because I do have some chopped chicken breasts in the can in the garage. And I do have a, a Whole30 approved mayo. I have almonds and I have grapes. All those I can put into a chicken salad. So I'm gonna say chicken salad um pork chops okay i can do marinated pork chops or pan seared pork chops so pan seared pork chops with uh, mashed potatoes because we have potatoes and with the chicken salad i'm going to do sweet potato fries because that can actually be a lunch. And I'll just make that up and it'll it'll be good. Um, then we have ribs. So what I'm going to say is I'll do uh, beef ribs. This will probably be for a Sunday meal. Beef ribs with collard greens. Rib collard greens and probably mashed potatoes. Mm, beef ribs, hmm. I'm gonna change the mashed potatoes to the beef ribs, right? And mashed potatoes. And then do the pork chops with the roasted uh, cherry tomatoes. So I'll change that to roasted cherry tomatoes since those came out of our garden. Um, Okay, then we have ground beef. So we're gonna do like a taco meat with like uh, we're gonna make it into taco meat, and we'll do those um, over. Uh, we we'll do a taco meat potato bowl. Cause we like um, potatoes. Um, we also have. We've got broccoli, we've got, Jackson has mixed vegetables. He'll probably eat that with rice. Jackson may do beans this week, I don't know. I may have to teach him how to do a, make a black bean burger. He might like that. But we have ground beef. What can we do with ground beef? We can do like a keto sloppy joe. So we'll do a ground beef and make that a keto uh, sloppy joe. And we will put that over Broccoli. Yeah, we can put that over broccoli. Um, for leftovers, we do have some chicken thighs. So we're going to pull in the chicken thighs that I made um, last night. We'll probably eat those for dinner tonight. So we have chicken thighs and we also have a fish chowder that I made that we have not finished. So we're going to pull in two, um, two leftovers and consume those for today's meals and then the next following days will be all the things i said now i probably will go i'm going to go ahead and roast the tomatoes today and i'm going to make the chicken salad today because that can be done ahead of time um alana does not like almonds in her chicken salad so i'm actually going to pull her some off to the side but there's enough to make um there's enough to make some for me and jack well jackson won't eat it either <sighs> he might if I make tuna salad, he'll eat fish. I also have the fish, mm, fish and shrimp. We'll have a fish and shrimp meal. I'm not real sure. Got coconut milk. I did not pick up coconut milk. Mm. Okay, Shakima, get it together, sister. But those are a couple meals. Um, for lunches, we're also going to have fruit. So for lunches, because my kids love fruit, they don't care when they have it. So I'm gonna slice the watermelon. Um, we have cherries and grapes and I'm gonna slice the pineapple. We have um, 
um, the grapes. And we can use any of those with lunches. And again, lunches will be leftovers from the night before with the exception of the chicken salad. Oh, we also could do tuna cakes because I have tuna. So I can make tuna cakes. So that's another thing I can do. And with the tuna cakes, I think I have some um, um, cucumbers in there. And we also have cucumbers coming on the vine. So we can do tuna cakes with cucumbers. And maybe I can find like a cucumber dill sauce or something that I can make to, or a lemon sauce uh, to put over the tuna cakes. Something that's Whole30 approved because I'm still Whole30. Um, Alana is working on some intuitive eating and she's also doing um, Whole30 for six days and then a cheat day once a week. So um, she's meeting with her nutritionist and they have worked that out. Um, I'm going to stay Whole30 for the majority of the month and then do my cheat day. As far as I know right now, that's my plan. Is just do what I've been doing and not really change anything up just yet. I did gain those three pounds, but I'm trying to see. Um, I'll wait on the last day of the month to see if I lost those three pounds again because I'm back to myself. Like I said, I had a rough, um, it was a little bit different last weekend. I think my hormones were acting crazy, but anywho, anywho. So there it is. I will make sure to do a, um, I will put up a picture of the menu plan into this video. So you'll see exactly what I'm planning for this week. Don't forget you guys, there is going to be a link down in the description that has all of the videos that have been going out for the month of June. I'm so thankful that Samantha reached out to me. Thank you guys. Go to her channel, subscribe, tell the Shakima sent you. Do it. Do all the things. <laughs> support. You know, I support people where I can. Um, I remember being a small YouTube channel and just having people support me. So I believe in supporting those who I can, where I can. And um, I'm here for all the grocery things. I'm here for every grocery thing that there ever was. <laughs> so anywho, thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you like this video, be sure and thumb it up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click the link to watch the playlist. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.